what is up guys this is Norman 3000 and this is a review light of the Xiaomi M365 scooter like probably 99.8% of civilians in Metro Manila I hate traffic I also hate public transportation but using a private vehicle can be very costly for the longest time I usually drive to work because I chose companies near me unfortunately they tend to be more than two rides away so I'd rather drive than get hassled changing vehicles on short bursts. Since I'm a very big China supporter, most if not all the items in my bedroom are Chinese branded. And Xiaomi is one of the best Chinese brand out there. I found the M365 wildly intriguing. Let's get specs out of the way first. Xiaomi M365 has won some design awards and you have to agree, this is a cool looking piece of tech. It looks and feels solid, and it does not look cheap. At 12 kilograms, it has some heft into it, but this is light compared to its higher priced EKS brethren. The solid build, rear and front lights, the throttle, it is a simplistic looking device that does what it should. It has two modes, echo and normal mode. At normal, Top speed is 25 km per hour with a range of 30 km on ideal condition. On Echo mode, your top speed is 15 km per hour with slower acceleration but a slightly longer range. It also has regenerative braking that kicks off as soon as you let go of the throttle. I've used the M365 for only about a month now and it's definitely a fun month. I already own a key cycle. So traffic really isn't an issue for me, but riding the M365 just feels substantially different. Travel time between the two is virtually identical, but personally, I just find the M365 much more fun to use. I use the M365 to go to work, go to the gym, buy some groceries, milk tea, basically anything and everywhere possible and the fun never fades. Add in the portability of the M365 means you can pop it in your trunk and take it anywhere. Of course, this is not a perfect device. The first time I took M365 to work was also the worst. You see, using the key cycle for 3 months, I never had a flat tire. Lo and behold, on the M365, the first time I use it, flat. There are multiple solutions for this one, and mine is getting solid tires. Sure, it made my ride bumpier on uneven roads, but it's a small price to pay for the inconvenience of flat tires. Another con is the performance. As the battery drops, so does the performance. Using it with 20% battery on normal mode feels like it is on echo mode. Your weight also factors in its performance. The 30km range mentioned is for ideal condition, meaning using it on inclines partnered with my relatively heavy weight had cut my range to only 15 kilometers. And the final con that I have is it takes 4 to 5 hours to charge. To and from work is 7 kilometers and it consumes about 50% of my battery. To ensure I get home without fear of running out of juice, I bought another 700 peso charger to have at my desk in the office. Oh, it also has no suspension. I don't mind but some may find that annoying. Solid tires and lack of suspension sounds like a recipe for disaster. Okay disclaimer, these are things that I personally did not like about the M365. I say this as subjective opinion from experience and not as facts. I would like to reiterate, I love the M365. At 18,995, what are you actually getting? Well, you get a nice piece of tech which can help you stave off a mortal enemy in traffic. Which for me, is very much worth it. I live about 7 kilometers from work and it takes me 30 to 40 minutes on a good day while driving, and 1.5 hours on a bad one. As of the moment, there are numerous EKS out on the market, which has much better specs and does not have the cons that I listed. You know what they do not have though? Is that 18,995 price tag and the peace of mind that you can directly get it from Xiaomi. If you want a cheap but capable EKS for short bursts, definitely give M365 a look. It may not be the best, 
but it justly deserves a suggest. That's been it guys, this is Norman3000, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.